What is a stomach ulcer? Stomach ulcers, which are also known as gastric ulcers, are painful sores in the stomach lining. Stomach ulcers are a type of peptic ulcer disease. Peptic ulcers are any ulcers that affect both the stomach and small intestines. Stomach ulcers occur when the thick layer of mucus that protects your stomach from digestive juices is reduced. This allows the digestive acids to eat away at the tissues that line the stomach, causing an ulcer. Stomach ulcers may be easily cured, but they can become severe without proper treatment. Peptic ulcers include, gastric ulcers that occur on the inside of the stomach, duodenal ulcers that occur on the inside of the upper portion of your small intestine, duodenum. How do symptoms differ? One way of telling if you may have a gastric or duodenal ulcer is to figure out where and when your symptoms occur. For some, the time between meals aggravates an ulcer. For others, eating may be a trigger for the pain. The exact location of the pain doesn't always match up with the location of the ulcer, though. Sometimes the pain is referred. This means that a person may have pain in a location away from the actual ulcer. What causes stomach ulcers? Stomach ulcers are almost always caused by one of the following. An infection with the bacterium Helicobacter pylori, H. pylori. Long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, such as aspirin, ibuprofen, or naproxen. Rarely, a condition known as Zollinger-Ellison syndrome can cause stomach and intestinal ulcers by increasing the body's production of acid. This syndrome is suspected to cause less than 1% of all peptic ulcers. Smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol also can make you more likely to get ulcers. Stress and spicy foods do not cause peptic ulcers. However, they can make your symptoms worse. Symptoms of peptic ulcer Burning stomach pain, feeling of fullness, bloating or belching, intolerance to fatty foods, heartburn, nausea. The most common peptic ulcer symptom is burning stomach pain. Stomach acid makes the pain worse, as does having an empty stomach. The pain can often be relieved by eating certain foods that buffer stomach acid or by taking an acid-reducing medication but then it may come back. The pain may be worse between meals and at night. Many people with peptic ulcers don't even have symptoms. Less often, ulcers may cause severe signs or symptoms such as vomiting or vomiting blood, which may appear red or black, dark blood in stools, or stools that are black or teary, trouble breathing, feeling faint, nausea or vomiting, unexplained weight loss, appetite change, Risk Factors of Peptic Ulcer In addition to having risks related to taking NSAIDs, you may have an increased risk of peptic ulcers if you Smoke Smoking may increase the risk of peptic ulcers in people who are infected with H. pylori. Drink alcohol Alcohol can irritate and erode the mucus lining of your stomach, and it increases the amount of stomach acid that's produced. Have untreated stress Eat spicy foods Alone, these factors do not cause ulcers, but they can make ulcers worse and more difficult to heal. Complications of Peptic Ulcer Left untreated, peptic ulcers can result in Internal bleeding, bleeding can occur as slow blood loss that leads to anemia or as severe blood loss that may require hospitalization or a blood transfusion. Severe blood loss may cause black or bloody vomit or black or bloody stools. A hole, perforation, in your stomach wall. Peptic ulcers can eat a hole through, perforate, the wall of your stomach or small intestine. It will put you at risk of serious infection of your abdominal cavity, peritonitis. Obstruction, peptic ulcers can block passage of food through the digestive tract. It causes you to become full easily, to vomit and to lose weight either through swelling from inflammation or through scarring. Gastric cancer, studies have shown that people infected with H. pylori have an increased risk of gastric cancer. Can you prevent a peptic ulcer? While stress and spicy foods can make symptoms of a peptic ulcer worse, they don't seem to make you more likely to have one. But a few other things can raise your chances. Be careful when you take pain relievers. Some people who have arthritis or other conditions that cause chronic pain take painkillers for weeks or months at a time to ease pain and swelling. These medicines can affect the mucus that protects your stomach against acid and make you more likely to have peptic ulcers. These pain relievers include, aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen sodium. 
you're more likely to get an ulcer while taking one of these if you are over age 65 are infected with h pylori bacteria take more than one NSAID at a time have had a peptic ulcer in the past also take a steroid drug or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor ssri to lower your chances for peptic ulcers while you take NSAIDs use the lowest possible dose to control your symptoms and stop taking them as soon as you no longer need them take your medicine with food don't drink alcohol while you're taking these medicines while you're on NSAIDs you can take medicine to lower the amount of acid your stomach makes drugs that can do that include proton pump inhibitors PPIs like esomeprazole Nexium, Omeprazole, Prilose OTC, and Pantoprazole, Protonics. H2 blockers such as Cimetidine, Tagamet, Famotidine, Pepsid, and Nizatidine. You can also take the drug Mesoprostyl, Cytotec, to boost the amount of protective mucus your stomach makes. Side effects But that can cause side effects like diarrhea and stomach cramps. Don't smoke, and limit alcohol. These two habits make you more likely to get peptic ulcers. Both thin the mucus lining that protects your stomach from acid, leading to more acid. And talk with them about how much alcohol is safe for you to drink. Manage stress. Stress can make the symptoms of a peptic ulcer worse. Figure out what's causing issues for you and see how you can deal with it better. For example, getting enough sleep can help with that. It also can boost your immune system. Consider probiotics. Millions of bacteria normally live in your gut. Some, like H. pylori, cause disease. Others are good for you because they help crowd out harmful bacteria. These helpful bacteria are called probiotics. They're still being studied, but researchers think they may help with peptic ulcers. You can find them in foods like these. Dairy products that have lived cultures, like yogurt, kefir, and aged cheeses, sauerkraut, kimchi, miso, tempeh. Prevent H. pylori infection. About two-thirds of people around the world have this type of infection, but most don't get ulcers because of it. Doctors don't know how you can avoid H. pylori, but they think it spreads from person to person or through food or water. You can do some things to make an infection less likely. Wash your hands often during the day with warm water and soap so you don't catch or spread H. pylori bacteria. Clean your hands before you eat and after you go to the bathroom. If you don't have soap and water close by, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Cook meat and other foods all the way through. Only drink water that you know is clean. How are stomach ulcers diagnosed? Diagnosis and treatment will depend on your symptoms and the severity of your ulcer. Your doctor will review your medical history along with your symptoms and any prescription or over-the-counter medications you're taking. To rule out H. pylori infection, a blood, stool, or breath test may be ordered. With a breath test, you'll be instructed to drink a clear liquid and breathe into a bag, which is then sealed. If H. pylori is present, the breath sample will contain higher than normal levels of carbon dioxide. Other tests and procedures used to diagnose stomach ulcers include Barium swallow, you drink a thick white liquid, barium that coats your upper gastrointestinal tract and helps your doctor see your stomach and small intestine on x-rays. Endoscopy, EGD, a thin, lighted tube is inserted through your mouth and into the stomach and the first part of the small intestine. This test is used to look for ulcers, bleeding, and any tissue that looks abnormal. Endoscopic biopsy, a piece of stomach tissue is removed so it can be analyzed in a lab. Imaging tests. Less frequently, imaging tests such as x-rays and CT scans are used to detect ulcers. You have to drink a specific liquid that coats the digestive tract and makes ulcers more visible to the imaging machines. Treating Stomach Ulcers Treatment will vary depending on the cause of your ulcer. Most ulcers can be treated with a prescription from your doctor, but in rare cases, surgery may be required. If you have an actively bleeding ulcer, you'll likely be hospitalized for intensive treatment with endoscopy and four ulcer medications. You may also require a blood transfusion. Non-surgical treatment. If your stomach ulcer is the result of H. pylori, you'll need antibiotics and drugs called proton pump inhibitors, PPIs. P 
PPIs block the stomach cells that produce acid. In addition to these treatments, your doctor may also recommend H2 receptor blockers, drugs that also block acid production. Stopping use of all NSAIDs. Follow-up endoscopy, probiotics, useful bacteria that may have a role in killing off H. pylori, bismuth supplement. Symptoms of an ulcer may subside quickly with treatment. But even if your symptoms disappear, you should continue to take any medication prescribed by your doctor. This is especially important with H. pylori infections, to make sure that all bacteria are eliminated. Side effects of medications used to treat stomach ulcers can include Nausea, dizziness, headaches, diarrhea, abdominal pain. These side effects are typically temporary. Treatment for peptic ulcer Treatment for peptic ulcers depends on the cause. Usually treatment will involve killing the H. pylori bacterium if present, eliminating or reducing use of NSAIDs if possible, and helping your ulcer to heal with medication. Medications can include Antibiotic medications to kill H. pylori. If H. pylori is found in your digestive tract, your doctor may recommend a combination of antibiotics to kill the bacterium. These may include amoxicillin, amoxil, clarithromycin, biaxin, metronidazole, flagyl, denidazole, tindamax, dethrocycline and levofloxacin. You'll likely need to take antibiotics for two weeks, as well as additional medications to reduce stomach acid. That includes a proton pump inhibitor and possibly bismuth subsalicylate, peptobismol. Medications that block acid production and promote healing. Proton pump inhibitors, also called PPIs, reduce stomach acid by blocking the action of the parts of cells that produce acid. These drugs include the prescription and over-the-counter medications. Omeprazole, Prilosec, Lansoprazole, Prevacid, Rebeprazole, Asifex, Esomeprazole, Nexium, and Pantoprazole, Protonix. Long-term use of proton pump inhibitors, particularly at high doses, may increase your risk of hip, wrist and spine fracture. Ask your doctor whether a calcium supplement may reduce this risk. Medications to reduce acid production. Acid blockers, also called histamine, H2, blockers, reduce the amount of stomach acid released into your digestive tract, which relieves ulcer pain and encourages healing. Available by prescription or over-the-counter, acid blockers include the medications famotidine, pepsidase, cimetidine, Dagomet HB, and Nizatidine, Axidar. Antacids that neutralize stomach acid. Your doctor may include an antacid in your drug regimen. Antacids neutralize existing stomach acid and can provide rapid pain relief. Side effects can include constipation or diarrhea, depending on the main ingredients. Antacids can provide symptom relief but generally aren't used to heal your ulcer. Medications that protect the lining of your stomach and small intestine. In some cases, your doctor may prescribe medications called cytoprotective agents that help protect the tissues that line your stomach and small intestine. Options include the prescription medications sucralfate, carafate, and mesoprostyl, cytotec. Follow-up after initial treatment. Treatment for peptic ulcers is often successful, leading to ulcer healing. But if your symptoms are severe or if they continue despite treatment, your doctor may recommend endoscopy to rule out other possible causes for your symptoms. If an ulcer is detected during endoscopy, your doctor may recommend another endoscopy after your treatment to make sure your ulcer has healed. Ulcers that fail to heal. Peptic ulcers that don't heal with treatment are called refractory ulcers. There are many reasons why an ulcer may fail to heal, including not taking medications according to directions, the fact that some types of H. pylori are resistant to antibiotics, regular use of tobacco, regular use of pain relievers, such as NSAIDs, that increase the risk of ulcers. Less often, refractory ulcers may be a result of extreme overproduction of stomach acid, such as occurs in zollinger ellison syndrome, an infection other than H. pylori, stomach cancer, other diseases that may cause ulcer-like sores in the stomach and small intestine, such as Crohn's disease. Treatment for refractory ulcers generally involves eliminating factors that may interfere with healing, along with using different antibiotics. 
If you have a serious complication from an ulcer, such as acute bleeding or a perforation, you may require surgery. However, surgery is needed far less often now than previously because of the many effective medications available. Surgical Treatment for Peptic Ulcer In very rare cases, a complicated stomach ulcer will require surgery. This may be the case for ulcers that continue to return, don't heal, bleed, tear through the stomach, keep food from flowing out of the stomach into the small intestine. Surgery may include removal of the entire ulcer, taking tissue from another part of the intestines and patching it over the ulcer site, tying off a bleeding artery, cutting off the nerve supply to the stomach to reduce the production of stomach acid. Will ulcers heal on their own? Though ulcers can sometimes heal on their own, you shouldn't ignore the warning signs. Without the right treatment, ulcers can lead to serious health problems, including bleeding, perforation, a hole through the wall of the stomach, gastric outlet obstruction, from swelling or scarring, that blocks the passageway from the stomach to the small intestine. Are ulcers curable? For most people, treatment that targets the underlying cause, usually H. pylori bacterial infection or NSAID use, is effective in eliminating peptic ulcer disease. Ulcers can reoccur, though, especially if H. pylori isn't fully cleared from your system or you continue to smoke or use NSAIDs. How long does it take an ulcer to heal? It generally takes several weeks of treatment for an ulcer to heal. Will drinking milk help an ulcer? No. Milk may temporarily soothe ulcer pain because it coats the stomach lining. But milk also causes your stomach to produce more acid and digestive juices, which can make ulcers worse. Is it safe to take antacids? Antacids temporarily relieve ulcer symptoms. However, they can interfere with the effectiveness of prescribed medications. Check with your doctor to find out if antacids are safe to take while undergoing treatment. What should ulcer patients eat? No foods have been proven to negatively or positively impact ulcers. However, eating a nutritious diet and getting enough exercise and sleep is good for your overall health. Healthful Diet In the past, it was thought that diet could cause ulcers. We know now this isn't true. We also know that while the foods you eat won't cause or cure a stomach ulcer, eating a healthful diet can benefit your intestinal tract and overall health. In general, it's a good idea to eat a diet with lots of fruits, vegetables, and fiber. That said, it's possible that some foods play a role in eliminating H. pylori. Foods that may help fight off H. pylori or boost the body's own healthy bacteria include broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and radishes, leafy greens, such as spinach and kale. Probiotic-rich foods, such as sauerkraut, miso, kombucha, yogurt, especially with lactobacillus and saccharomyces. Apples, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries, olive oil. Additionally, since people with stomach ulcers may have accompanying acid reflux disease, it is a good idea to stay away from spicy and sour foods while an ulcer is healing. Home Remedies for Stomach Ulcers In addition to eating healthy foods, the following items may help reduce the effects of H. pylori, the bacteria responsible for many stomach ulcers. However, these supplements are not intended to replace prescription medication or your current treatment plan. They include Probiotics, honey, glutamine, food sources include chicken, fish, eggs, spinach, and cabbage, 